Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you are new, hello, I am Simfora, or also known as Izzy. And here on my channel, I make Sims content. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a must have mods for more in game realism. I get a lot of questions as to what are some of the mods that I use in my gameplays. So today, I will be spilling all of the tea of what is currently in my mods folder. Hopefully, this video can help you all because I cannot share my mods folder due to creator's term of use. All of the mods that I'm gonna be showing are basically mods that I personally cannot live with. Out. Because most of you guys know from watching my series, I love playing The Sims realistically with creating my own storylines and just using a few mods, and you can do the same. So let's go. Before we begin, the mods that I will be mentioning will be linked in my description box down below, so download at your own risk. The first mod, or shall I say mods, I want to briefly talk about is Enros mods. I'm not going to go in depth explaining how each Enros mod works because there's so much to explain with these mods, and the website explains it all. I actually use a lot of these Enros mods, and I don't want to blow up anybody's computer. So I'm going to recommend you guys my top four that I frequently use. Number one, Master Controller. Number two, the Woohooer mod. Number three, the Story Progression. And number four, the Traveler mod. Master Controller is top dog. You need this to have the other Enros mods to work. There is so many options on this main menu tab. You can go to Advanced to mess with your Sims. Basic has a little bit of everything. You can export your Sims information, focus on your Sim, mess with your Sims household. You can even go into Intermediate where everything important is usually located, make active, go into your settings, look at your sim status, and lastly edit your sim in stylus. Now on to the woohooer mod, which is my favorite to use. These options are really self-explanatory. The only options I mess with is risky, try for baby, and woohoo. When you go into risky, you will see options between animals or human, and I'm just going to go into human. When you do that, you will see that you can change the values for autonomous risky, risky baby success rate for both adults and teens, and use fertility treatment. I keep everything the way it is except for risky baby success rate. 10% is too low for me. I like to set mines between 15 or 20%. 15 is really good though. Okay, so I mentioned earlier that I make changes to the try for baby. Scratch that. I don't. But for woohoo, yes. I usually come in here to enable teen woohoo. With this being set to true, your teen sim will be able to get pregnant. So be aware. You can be even more realistic by hiding the woohoo interaction and replacing it with risky. But that's really, really risky though. Story progression. I have a love-hate relationship with this mod. What bothers me the most about this mod is how fast it makes your town move, especially with relationships. Let's say for an example, you make a hot sim for your sim to date. That sim is taken the next day, but luckily there's a way to fix that. Once more, I don't mess with these other options. I mainly go into general. When you're in general, you want to click adjust speed. It's already set to default, but I like mine at snail. This can prevent your hot sim from being taken so quickly. Also, if you don't want all those notifications popping up, go into all stories and choose any option you would like. Last but not least, the traveler mod. I use this mod to travel anywhere besides the ones that World Adventures gives us. You can travel to any custom or EA world, and you can even choose how many days you plan on staying there without needing visa points. The Deep Conversations mod. This is another mod that I have a love-hate relationship with because every time your sim starts a conversation with another sim, this pops up and some of the responses don't even make any sense. I like this mod because it allows my sims to build friendships and relationships faster with other sims. Deep Conversations for The Sims 3 gives you some insight on what your sims are talking about and often lets you choose what your sim will say, which may affect your relationship positively or negatively. Here are the features that come with this mod. Improved get to know, choose what to say, meaningful conversations, and adaptive conversations. Now I'm going to show you all how this mod works in game. As you can see in the upper right corner, the random lady said checking you out and I can respond by saying hello there. Oh look, oh see their relationship is already bumping up. All right, let's keep talking to her. Let's ask about her age and ask her sign, maybe get to know her so we can get this interaction going on. Just gonna speed through. All right, we learned that she's nine days older than us. Is there people coming in here? We could talk to more people. We really, oh my gosh, that's a whole freaking family. We'll just talk to her. All right, so we're just waiting for another notification. She said, I rejected by X. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. So I'm just gonna say, I'm so disappointed right now. Oh, see, now they're going, <laughs> they're about to be enemies now. And she is disappointed from a bad conversation. I think we can even fight her now. We can, ooh, child, let me slap her real quick. Uh-uh. And then let me yell at you too. Oh, never mind. It went away. Stink mask perfume. That doesn't even, see, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and then your sims can catch on fire too, which is 
insane. It really is insane. But don't worry too much about your sim catching on fire because as long as there's a shower nearby, they can put themselves out. I don't know why this girl is still on fire. She's struggling. She is literally going to die, but that's what it is. The hospital overhaul mod. This is a scripting mod that can possibly conflict with other mods. This mod is very realistic. You can terminate your sim's pregnancy. I don't know what the heck this is, so we're just going to skip past that. Donation services, in vitro fertilization, and alien implantation. Um, we have gender reassignment, sterilization, surrogacy, ultrasound scanning, and veterinary services. This is going to be my first time having my sim get impregnated at the hospital because she's currently not pregnant, so let's see how this goes. Wow, I was not expecting for this to pop up. Apparently, I am able to choose my baby's gender and sperm or egg donor. Okay, so I want to have a girl, and for my sperm donor, I don't even know who these men are, so I'm just going to pick Derek. Ooh, the quality. Nice, great, and unknown. You know what? Let me just go with great so Eric it is. And look at that. Look at that bill. Oh my goodness. Let's just go. <laughs> I don't think we needed an egg donor because we are we have eggs. So now we just wait it out. Bianca has successfully been impregnated. That took so long. I'm going to skip past until my sim find out that she's pregnant. Bianca just found out that she's pregnant. And since we're still on the topic of pregnancy, let me introduce you guys to another mod. The Pregnancy Progress Controller mod. This is another scripting mod. Make sure you guys read the description because there is a lot of important information here. With this Pregnancy Progress Controller mod, we have some options. You can display your pregnancy information, end pregnancy, give birth now, pause pregnancy, set chance of multiple birth, set pregnancy progress, set the gender of your baby, and start labor now. We already know the gender of the baby, so let's try setting the chance of multiples and increasing her pregnancy progress. How many babies do you want? I'm gonna say two, and this is not a guarantee for it to work. Right now, her pregnancy progress is at 33, and I'm gonna bump it up to 50. So you're gonna see her belly get big out of nowhere. Oh, there we go, it's like a little bump. Okay, let's do 70. Oh, yep, it's bigger. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna have Bianca go into labor. Yeah, I know your back hurt, Miss Girl. Start labor now. Oh, the baby is coming. We're not gonna have her go to the hospital because it's so freaking far, so she's gonna have a nice home birth. <laughs> go ahead, girl, push it out. Her face expression. She's struggling right now. I'm hollering. Come on. Let's see if we get twins, or at least one single baby. Ooh, and it's a full freaking moon. Oh, oh my, oh my goodness. Yay, Bianca had twins named Bella and Bryson. One boy and one girl. Oh, oh my, who do you look like? Your mo oh, oh. Mm, my chandelier is in the way. Looks like the baby has blonde hair. And let's see baby boy. Yeah, we're gonna put them on the floor because I didn't get them no cribs. Come on, Bryson. Oh, he is too cute. Oh, they look just alike. Aww, these the freaking lights. Now, you're probably wondering, how did I get my newborn babies in this cute outfit? So let me show you. This mod allows newborn babies in The Sims to wear footies, which is too freaking cute. I always have my Sim babies wear this because I got so sick and tired of looking at them being wrapped up in an EA blanket like a burrito. There's other newborn baby outfits, but this one is my favorite. This outfit is for boys and girls, has one preset, fully recolorable, and this is not a default replacement. Who Whoever made this mod was kind enough to drop the link of the skin used in the images. I don't use this skin. If I can find where I got mine along with the baby hair, I will put it in my description box. Once again, this is not a replacement, so now all babies will be born in this outfit. And to put the babies in it, you need to go into Create a Sim. More traits for all ages. I will be discussing another mod with this one all at the same time because I feel like they can go hand in hand. When you read the description, it's going to say that you need either Master Controller or Awesome Mod. It also tells you how to add the traits and remove them. I will show you later on how to do that. That. There's four different versions to this mod. Choose whichever one you would like and only one at a time. Traits for all ages. This mod unlocks all visible traits for all ages, baby through elders. I don't have the twins anymore. I purposely exited out without saving because this is a stream series and I don't want to ruin the file. I can show you how the more traits mod work, but not the traits for all ages because she doesn't have any more children. So you want to go to master control, advance and traits, and you want to change a trait. So let's say for instance, I want my Simit to be artistic you want to add it on and as you can see the trait is added finally the last mod i will be recommending
recommending is more sims in the clubs. The clubs in the bars of the late night expansion are always empty. With this mod, this problem will be solved forever. This mod will always send sims to the lot. You choose how many sims are sent by this mod. All sims will dance, order drinks, chat with other sims, play arcade games, and interact all the time. You will love it. All you have to do is type in the cheat MSC mod, click configure this lot, and put a number of sims that you want in the club. All right, so we're in the club. Apparently, it is a hot spot with only a few sims here. So what you want to do is you want to type in the cheat like that, and this thing is going to pop up, make a selection. You want to configure this lot. The minimum of sims that can come here is eight. The maximum is 25. So the desired value is right now is 10. I'm just going to bump it up to 15, and then you want to cancel, and then all the sims will appear. I waited a few hours because it takes a while for sims to get here, and as you can see, the club is lit. This concludes today's video on must-have mods. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all in my next video.